Good morning, boys and girls. I'd like to welcome y'all to the 85 Vibes show. I go by the name of Lil Duval, and this is the Christmas special. And why would we have a Christmas special without me singing a Christmas song? Kick it, DJ! You've been trying to find something that you think I like, and that's all right. Thank y'all, thank y'all. Let's give them another one. I think they want another one. Do y'all want another one? From channel 85, you already know what this is. I put that on God and all his kids. <laughs> this the Christmas special. We had to drop some exclusively for everybody who didn't get shit for Christmas. Just let it play for everybody who didn't get shit. 
your gift. This your gift. You thought they was gonna get you something. Woke up early and didn't nobody get you nothing. You thought they were gonna get you something. You woke up early, but didn't nobody get you nothing. Go back to sleep. Matter of fact, roll us some weed. Cause your family is cheap. Hey, add a bleep. I might cuss. Cause y'all ain't fucking with us. For everybody who didn't get shit. 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 This your gift. You might get a fifth later on. Or maybe a new phone. Or maybe a new plan. Maybe your girl will leave and get a new man. You don't know how this shit plays out. You'll never know. We just in here kicking that shit. J-O-N, what you get? Nothing. 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 You mean to tell me ain't nobody get us motherfucking something? These tracks bumping. We need to come up like Compton. Or maybe another place. And it's a motherfucking shame that we did our thing all year. And now we just sitting out here with no gifts. Ain't that some shit? Somebody roll up some weed to go and get a fill for some yak. It's cause we black. Everything that we bought, we should take the shit back. And be stingy. Because the motherfuckers ain't get us nothing and they got plenty. Everybody who didn't get shit. It's a fucked up Christmas. Maybe you can get some back. Maybe when your income tax. Maybe you can get some back when you get your income tax. Maybe, right? Possibly, I don't know. That's enough. Cut it off. It's for everybody who didn't get shit. Merry Christmas. At least you still here. Stay black. It ain't like you got a choice. Stay black. It ain't like you got a choice. Merry Christmas. You're watching a special Christmas episode of 85 featuring Lil Duval. And of course, Bando. When I saw you on your live, I knew you had a sexy vibe. Posted up with your trio. You stood out like a Leo. I know they all in your DMs. So I ain't trying to be a yo DM. So I just sit back in the cut smoking on that good package. Girl, I can see you vibing, body rocking. Ooh, that DJ going in. Won't you play that shit again? Hey, girl, I can see you wildin', booty dropping. Girl, you over there playing. But let me ask you one thing.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That song is with me featuring Boosie Badass. Free my nigga Boosie off of Instagram. It's Sky and you've been watching a very special Christmas episode of 80 Vibe with none other than Lil Duval. Today I have a special guest with me. What's up y'all, it's Lex P from Poor Minds. And as y'all know on our show, we like to get a little, you know, have a little drink every now and then. Mm -hmm. So you gonna make us a Christmas drink, right? Yes ma'am, we got whiskey today. You like whiskey? Uh, look, I drink anything. Okay. But yeah, I'm a whiskey, we gonna say I'm a whiskey drinker <laughs> we're today, gonna okay? We're a whiskey drinker, yes. whiskey is always great for Christmas time. All right. So we're gonna be using Old Forester, we're gonna do two and a half, two and a half ounces. ounces since you said now. you yeah. like. Yeah. To drink, got you. Let's let's just accidentally yeah, pour a little. Yeah, go ahead now. Let's see. I like My it. I like that. <laughs> All right now. Then we're gonna add a half an ounce of lime juice. Okay. And I made a very special syrup. It's gonna be a cinnamon apple syrup. It's easy to make at home. Okay. It's just sugar, water, apples, and cinnamon, and you just let it simmer on your stove, and you got you a little syrup. This, I mean, it smells off. good. It's giving Christmas time. Definitely. You gotta show up to your friends, let them know what you got. See, I don't be cooking, but I, I can make a little syrup. I can yeah. do that. There we go. All right. We're gonna add some ice. Now, most of the time, I'm drinking wine. So, is this gonna get me there? Yep. And all, you can still have a glass of wine with this. Now, now see, I like to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> yep. Okay. It'll definitely get you there with the wine mixed now, together. Now, see, I'm Santa in my family. So, I don't wanna go around and be like, damn, Santa a little drunk. <laughs> so is I'm it really the holidays if you aren't drunk? I mean, you're right, you're right, you're right. We're gonna add a slice of a green apple mm -hmm. and a cinnamon stick. Oh, this to is garnish. fancy. Yeah. Fancy in the red cup. You know we mm -hmm. had to keep it a little yeah. hood. You know we couldn't <laughs> get too bad. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now <laughs> I'm gonna judge you. I'm real, you know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yep. You know, you know it hits you good with hair on You know chest, what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, okay, <laughs> this is 10 out of 10. I can drink this. Thank you. I can drink this. I like it. I like it. And back to our special Christmas edition of 80 Vibe with Lil Duval. Oops. You still watching? You still watching? Because this is 80 Vibe. Stay tuned on channel 85. Play some shit now. Just to let them know. That's our exit music. That's what we leaving to. Coming up next, exclusive. Behind the scenes interview with the one and only Little Duval. That's what the white people call a little Duval. But the nigga say Lil Duval because he really from the hood. Yeah. <laughs> Channel 85. We brought back fucking 85. It's the reason for the season. And we don't need a reason. Cause I've been hanging around with heathens. Niggas who be robbing and be cheating and stealing. And maybe a little killing. And then hide money in the ceiling. That's how we living. Like motherfucking drug lords. Selling dope on the game every time we get bored. Yeah, shit, we do it for fun. I've been playing Xbox with a whole lot of guns. Yeah, nigga. Cause I'm the coldest. Everybody in the house, I'm not the oldest. That would be my grandpa's. He always wanna make them liquor so stop. He stopping for the liquor. Cold, old school nigga. Keep a gun in his boot and he'll shoot if you let him. But we don't never really have to go and get him. Because we keep him. You know, I just be talking shit. I'm glad y'all in here with us. Yeah. To everybody in the hood, we gonna call this one the Crimmer Special, bruh. Drop this on Crimmer. Hey man, make sure this come out on Crumble. Make sure this come out on Crumble. Deck my balls with a bitch named Holly. Yeah, I said deck my balls with a bitch named Holly. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, you ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, you ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas.
Christmas Cause you a ho, ho, ho Bitch, Merry Christmas Man, we gotta flip some Christmas songs I like how that shit sound You know what they remind me of? I said, Rudolph the only black reindeer I said, Rudolph the only black reindeer Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer The nigga was black I knew his daddy And that's a well-known fact Santa Claus was a racist-ass white man Santa Claus was a racist-ass white man I Wanted Rudolph to come to work on Christmas Eve And you know, that's the first day of the year A nigga really gets some sleep he acting like it's don't snow every other Christmas. Now we need a nigga. But they don't even tell you about the rest of the days of the year where Santa wouldn't feed a nigga. This shit gets deeper. This shit gets deeper. Santa be gone cause Miss Claus is a creeper. All right, let me stop. I be done fuck, I be done fuck Christmas up for everybody, man. That's enough for me, man. Y'all, Y'all put this shit up. Put this shit up, man. Pack this shit up and go to the crib. We got the interview with Lil Duval coming up next. Hey, welcome back to 85, man. We gonna have vibe and chillin'. Yeah! You know what the happiness feels like, and today we got a world-renowned international player, superstar, music comedian, entertainer extraordinaire. Yeah. I love uh, that. Uh, I'm entrepreneur, well. multi-millionaire, Ooh, come on, friend uh, lover. There you come go, on. man. Uh, a come man on. of the people, the people's the champ. People. Uh, the well, hood Santa Claus. They, man, say some of your come other on, shit, Jacksonville man. champion. Come on, now. Ambassador. Come on, the hero. Cool. Come on, now. Hood ambassador. Come on, now. To the world. Come on. Actor, comedian, uh, business owner. Ooh. Hmm. All around Ooh. ghetto legend. Lil Duval in this month. Yay, let's go. How y'all doing? How you doing, man? Blessing, highly favored, you know. Man, you killing them with this poncho and shit. You know, I was oh, feeling it. You know, I, this is about Mary. You know, Mary had Jesus on Christmas, so I figured, hey. Mm. Oh, shit out, man. See how I put that together? Yeah. Come on. Is, is that right? Yeah. yeah. That's poncho V. Uh, I just, that's I divine know. intervention Cole, right there, ain't it? You already know. You, you fucking yeah. Immaculate conception. Mm. Dogma. Mm, mm. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Come on, now. Come on, man. Hey, Look, man. man, we ain't even gonna hold you. We got a few questions from the people. You feel me? I'm here, man. Because this is what this, this whole Christmas special is about. And, and first of all, thank you for being a part of our first Christmas special. Yeah, no, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all... I feel like y'all are the culture, you know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all are the vibe, just like the show called 80 Vibe. So, I, want, I was gonna do a Christmas, perform the Christmas song somewhere else, but I said, I wanna do it where the people gonna be at. That's exactly what they gonna do. That's better. Man, we glad you came. You see it. I mean, shit, they gonna see y'all anyway, so that's why would I come with y'all at? Come on, yeah. Come on, now. Greatest holiday. And you know, that's how we get down anyway as black people. Mm. We gonna do what we gonna do we on gonna Christmas. We gonna do, baby. The first question I'm gonna ask you off the list of questions is, are the city boys up this Christmas? What's the, the city, score? Now, the city boy's way up, especially after that divorce that um, Dr. Dre had. Y'all giving up for Dr. Okay. Dre? Okay. 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 He came out, you know. All you had to do was give her some money, you know. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing, because she already had money, so it didn't change her life, you know. Right. So all she, all he did was get free. Like, and that's the most important thing you want to be, am I, am I lying? Amen. So would that put us up like 20 points in the fourth quarter? No, that put us up way ahead. Oh, we like? No, we out of here. We, oh, we, we it's a blowout. No, no, how, how can we be up, man? What? We're getting his ass whooped by Jada, and I feel like we're taking a loss. Hey, no, him. no, Jada City Boy. Jada City Boy. Oh, Jada City Boy. Stay woke. <laughs> Damn. So Jada we waiting. Yeah, yeah, she got City Boy ways. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hey, I man, can see it though. The next question that people want to know is what, what the hell keep going on with Instagram? Hey, man. It's, a, it's going on with everybody, you know what I'm saying? What y'all see with me is what you're going to see what happened with everybody if it's not happening now, you know? It's just a attack on our culture. Mm. That's how I see it, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's, I, that's really what it is. It's kind of like what, what Luke, Uncle Luke was going through back in the day when he was fighting to have this parental advisory, you know what I'm saying, censorship, where we mm. can say what we want to say, kind of like what y'all got. Y'all got a... Um, 
platform where you can say what you want to say. But you've been saying for years you was going to start your own social media shit anyway, huh? I have been saying that, but I've been living my best life. <laughs> so, <laughs> Hello. That's been coming in between. And I have been doing yeah. it and other things. That's why I'm able to survive how I am even without Instagram because I, I kind of put things in place to where if, if it did come in, because I saw this coming even before it came because it was already going on on Facebook years before. They've been Man, since. let's try that shit. Try what? Let's start a black-owned fucking social media shit. Let's do it. But even with that, it's still things you got to... Black Planet around. or... You know yeah. what I'm saying? So nah, man, it ain't really been like no real nigga shit that's been owned by some real niggas. Mm. Yeah, but we got to work around they the, just put out the, 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 the politics yeah. shit, though. It's bigger than just putting out an app. Everybody got apps. You know what I'm saying? It's getting to where... Speaking of which, we got people. one. Uh, Channel 85. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you tune yeah, in. Plug it. Start there. Plug it. Yeah, yeah that's black. let's go there. Go there. Go to, yeah, okay. Go there. Yeah. But, we, I mean, that's just more for content. But we, we really should look into getting us some black-owned social media. I need to bring the chat line well, back. shit, man. It, 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 <laughs> we got it on richbroke.com. Go over there, shop, do everything. We got everything. You, chat? you don't remember chat line? I'm trying to bring the chat room back. We can go to the metaverse, nigga. Oh, shit. Start our own metaverse. Actually, that's what I'm working on, too. I just ain't want to say it all the way through. Why not? Because it ain't done yet. So I got to figure it all the way out to mm. get it straight. But that's what I'm in the works on. This, the social media, as we see it now, this is kind of like, oh, where people at now. It's like the transition to, like what he said, like the weird. metaverse. Man, and all I got to ask you this shit. Because I know you fuck with, like, technology. That's always been, like, your shit to be, like, on this. You know, the internet, the next shit, bro. Uh -huh. you, you don't never say shit about the crypto and shit like that. You don't fuck with it? I do, but I don't fuck with it. I don't like to fuck with it because it got, I don't like to talk about it because it got to do with business. So I don't like to tell people how to run their business. You know mm. what I'm saying? What I do with my business is one thing, what y'all do, because I might be wrong, because to me, all that shit is just gambling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. try your luck. So that's what I do. I can't tell you to do something I don't really know. I mean, I know to try it. I see it's out there. If I see everybody else doing it, they when I be a fool not to try it. So that's my advice. Yeah, yeah. you got to have it to lose. Yeah, right. you got Yeah, you do got to have it to lose. It's just with anything. Like, if you go to the casino, you ain't gonna take, you'll be stupid to take all your money, but you can still have a good time to take, take some of it. And that's how I treat stocks, bonds, all this shit. Now you got a lot of like deep ass philosophies that hit, uh, <laughs> that be hidden and stick around. Like, how do you see Christmas? What's your philosophy on Christmas? And shit? Christmas is love. That's what it's supposed to be. I mean, that's what it. That's why. That's what it brings out. You know. I mean, everybody has their own opinion about it, which I don't care. But at the end of the day, it's for love. So if it's bringing out the love in the family, it's a win. That's yeah. how I see Christmas. Yeah. That's how I see every holiday. That's how I see every day. This your first Christmas song. My first real one, I had a song I did that went viral about, um, I redid This Christmas. Before we go on this shopping spree, there's one thing you need to know about me, baby. I'm dead broke this Christmas. Boy, I did hey, that. You know what okay. I'm saying? And you, um. They still popping that shit on TikTok. That shit viral on TikTok. Nah, you been making songs. Like, yeah. before, you know what I'm saying? Even before you hit the number one. You know what I'm That's saying? That's how it kind of blew. My first viral shit was, before it was called viral, was that buying a girl a drink in the club. The song was so Come on, bro. Yeah. And you just kept Look so good. Did you think of a Robbie Ho? Yeah, boy, you Rocky always Rocky. had something, bro. You yeah. had some shit that Snake they, they played in the strip club. That's why, that's why it comes off organic, because I've been doing this. I ain't like everybody else just riding the wave. You know, everybody see, when they see some work, they do it, which is cool, but well, that ain't me. Well, you nightlife song. Yeah, nightlife with Dro. Man, stop. Yeah, this nigga, you yeah. fuck with me, Mike. You fuck with me. <laughs> oh, that nigga studied that he shit. He ain't know it. He studied you the shit. Know he it. studied the shit before Man, the show. Man, you ain't know it. That's I always up, had bro. the research. And I thought it was shit. cool. Man, you slide that bitch in in the strip Watch that nigga. Watch now. Watch now, man. Man. He got on my outfit. He got on my size outfit. Nah, cause he the type of nigga where it's like, you'll be cool he with him. him. Oh, shit. Uh, but then you'll never know that he ain't cool with you. <laughs> you ain't cool with me now? Hey, man. Well, I'm fuck with Just you, watch man. how that nigga move, man. I'm I, you can be so cool. Tell me to stay with him. All I'm saying is, I done seen the nigga be a one-sided friend. Before. So, like, what's the best Christmas gift you ever got? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, you can't ride with me here no more. <laughs> yeah, I ain't know he was going to be here. I hope he bought that shit. <laughs> that shit he got on. Cause, I mean, it's Christmas, but everybody ain't just getting shit away. <laughs> I don't. I don't never do sales on richbroke.com. Go shop. <laughs> you Actually, know? these are richbroke oh, shades. Yeah. Did, I, did I show you? Oh, shit. Wait, 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 look what that oh, say. What that say right there, though? Hold on. Ooh, 
it's a rich bro. Come on now. In the corner. Yeah, this is a collaboration I did uh, with Savoir Faire. Laser Edge. Black Company. Oh, come so, on. Savoir Faire, Savoir Savoir Faire. Faire glasses. Shout out Chris Classic. We did a collaboration. That's my brother, man. I see him doing this thing. Just like y'all, I see y'all doing your thing. This is how we come together. You know what I'm saying? This is what the Asians do. They band together. Come we do. We, so we can band learn together. from there and band together. You know so. people bring samples and shit yeah, for everybody. I, no. <laughs> what I said, bye. Oh. <laughs> Bye. I'm like Louis Vuitton, I don't do no sales. Oh. Mm. Mm. You still shop there, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. at least let, like, can I try them on, see how they work? Let, yeah, let me see how they... Don't let that nigga he gonna stretch them. Right. You gonna stretch them? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, you look like you get money, man. Yeah, Let me make an ugly nigga look like he getting yeah. money. Hey, how, hey, how, how, much do do do? how much do you let's go for like a dollar? A hundred? Hundred dollars. Oh yeah. Okay, come on, man. Get ready okay. too. Nah. Get ready too. Okay. Matter of fact, you can't act like you. You got your phone on you? Nah, I'm, I ain't got my phone. <laughs> 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 put your credit card in here. <laughs> <laughs> go to richbroke.com and do your thing. There you go. <laughs> I just Christmas nah, just fucked me up, man. Christmas just fucked. Christmas ain't even came yet. But they added us on Christmas. Yeah, and then just hit you up here. Yeah, good. Chop. You Chop talking out. about in the future? Yeah. Chop Chop out. Out. fucked up. Yeah. Richbroke.com. Richbroke.com. Okay. Oh. Damn, I don't even okay. know my CVC. <laughs> I, I do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What I tell you? <laughs> what I tell you? This nigga he ain't even subscribed to the app. Man, wait, now you nigga, lying. And the nigga you on. ain't subscribed to the app, bro. Oh, that's that you want. That you want. That you want. He got you one. You got your one. You got your last night. Hey, man, that nigga ain't subscribed to the app, man. He only told him to get his help. Nigga, always there for you. Yeah, I ain't need that help. Always there for you, down ass nigga. He got your think don't nobody know. That nigga multi-millionaire, cause he get everything free. You got how quiet she get? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Hey, I seen the nigga Man. on another side. What thing. other questions they got for me? Let me see. <laughs> 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 All right, this one. It said, how do you choose which artist you want to collaborate with? Oh, that's a good one. I go with the vibe, honestly. That's why I go with, oh, if I hear a song, if I got a song and I think, and I think like, this person be good for it, that's who I fuck with, and usually they fuck with me. So that's mm -hmm. what I go with. Yo, somebody you want to work with is your dream person, if you could. You know who I do want to work with? Who you want to work with? This girl named Neo. Neo. Neo? Yeah, N-A-O. I love her. her. She Where watching? She from? Neo. She, I think she's from the UK, honestly. But she, I just like her music. I like her voice. It sounds so angelic. Like, oh, okay. Who else? You hear um, the UK tour? My bad. Uh, uh, who else? UK tour? Uh, yeah, I will, shit. I ain't that's did it yet since the goddamn corona and you know all yeah. that shit. So shit, when you go, that's that's we put that in there. This gonna come out Christmas. Hell she yeah. You watching this yeah. shit now? Yeah. Who Somebody gonna send it to her? I got hey. I don't know. I don't want y'all put me on the spot with who I want. I fuck with whoever the vibe with. I ain't got no, they don't, they don't have to be the biggest artist. They could be regular, you know what I'm saying? And I fuck with yeah. them if I if the vibe right, you know? Cause I can make a song. You know what I'm saying? I don't need you like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't mean it like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I proved what I can do. Yeah. You know, my action show what I can do. Bro, you and the yeah. baby will be a dope ass collab. That like, would be the dope. video will be, I know the nah, video. That would be hard, though. Yeah, you, you know and what the I'm baby. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get some more questions. Come on. Uh, Get another J though. Go ahead. Somebody yeah. said, "How did the idea for Christmas trees come about?" Hell yeah. Because I always wanted to make a Christmas song. You know what I'm saying? I but my songs have to be like a vibe. You know what I'm saying? And got to be me. Most of my shit it relates to me because that's my vibe. And what do I do the most besides be Lil Duval? I smoke. Mm -hmm. So I made a song that correlate with Christmas and smoking. Christmas trees. Mm. Ta da. Shout out to RL producing it and writing um, from Next. And um, my man, uh, B Flat, representing Birmingham, Alabama. He's a great producer, man. Young. 205. He's a person that's, he, he ain't somebody that people know, but he's very talented and I fuck with him because he, mm. he's, a, he's a talented motherfucker. Man, that shit crazy seeing how much weed you smoke now. I remember how much weed you didn't smoke. Yeah. I ain't smoke yeah, I drink. I, I yeah. still don't drink, but I, I smoke like a motherfucker. Yeah, don't start drinking. 
The only thing I do now is smoke and shrooms every now and then. Yeah, don't, don't, you, don't start drinking. What you think made you smoke once you knew you was comfortable? Mm -hmm. Once you knew you had a little, you had, did you have it in your mind? Like, okay. Yeah, I already had it in my head. I was like, I can't fall off. This is the worst my life gonna get. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can try some shit. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Hey, right, man, right, you right, ought to right, do right, a, right, a, a right, special right. call. I can't fall off. I can't fall off. Yeah. yeah. That'll be hard. That's yeah. a good way to do it, though, bro. It's time for the Duval comedy special, nigga. I've already done the special. It's on it's on um, Amazon Prime right now, living my best life comedy special. With. For real? Yeah, man. You see how I talked it up? Yeah, you finessed it in there. I appreciate it. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, you gotta man. Plug I put shit. it out there. It's, I put it out there Direct for the vibes. Consumer, Cause everybody, right? cause I, what I want to do with that was to show where I saw comedy and everything evolve into. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. It's like a, it's like a Vegas show. You know what I'm saying? That's how my shows is live. I try to give more than comedy. You know what I'm saying? I think there comes a time as a stand-up comedian where you evolve to the next level. Like when we look at Dave Chappelle, we don't see him as a comedian no more. You see him as Dave Chappelle. Perform, you, you know, perform. You, you just about see to burn your shit. Oh shit. You just see him as Dave Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? When you see Duval, you just say Duval. You know what I'm saying? So that's where you want to get to. That's where my goal. So, and it takes it where you, you go beyond. You know what I'm saying? So and this is why I see comedy is coming with, if you look at everybody now, shit, all of us doing that more than one thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's where it's going. So that's why I did it special. I, that's why I just wanted to show that. So. And it seemed like everybody liked it. They saw it. I seen you had a few yeah. skits in there too, man. Them skits were dope as hell. Okay. Shout out to Nav. Nav was in the skits. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck that. Don't shout out to Nav, man. What else, man? Where you going with this music shit, man? How you going with the music? The way it's been. Like you said, I've been doing it. It's just like who said? Like um, Clayton said. Oh, I thought you were my Nav. No, like Clayton Nav ain't said. say that. Clayton. <laughs> Like he wouldn't even say no, doing it. He just wouldn't even say no shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People paying attention now, so. Nothing positive. Don't nothing, don't nothing change. You yeah, know what I'm it don't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers be putting in work for this shit. Bro. I think my career is a perfect example to see how shit go. It ain't about, one thing ain't gonna blow you up. It's no. being consistent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like, just like Lois. Lois been doing it for a while too. He getting his, he getting everybody's, you know, his recognition from people seeing it, but he been grinding just as long as I have. Man, dope. So, yeah. And dope. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Dope. So, shit, he, he one of them goats for real. <laughs> you know? Facts. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Duval. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't just saying, just saying, because you know, I, know I, ain't say, I ain't say neither one of them was ghosts, but I did say either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they coming up, though. They going to do their thing. Yeah. No, they doing it. That's what they... Not that's like what... you, though, Los Blight. I was talking about Clayton, man. That nigga Hawkeye, bro. What the fuck is he talking about, man? No, but for real, these niggas is the truth too. Like, for real. I like to see me. I, I always hear people say nobody. People want to see you do good until you do better than them. I don't get that, cause to me, I, the person supposed to do better than you. You know what I'm saying? You don't. If your kids ain't doing better than you, you lost. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's the same thing in this. It's like if the people that come after you ain't doing better than you, then you failed as the person that's supposed to be inspiring. Yeah. You know, so I be proud when I see people doing their thing and see y'all doing touring out all over the country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Selling out shit, and y'all funny, cause y'all and y'all funny. So y'all I mean, y'all deserve it too. So I just love seeing this shit. Hell yeah, that's that's oh, real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's why we out here just trying to create more outlets for. And now it's time to create to more to. outlets, like you say, for More. everybody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, we got an in studio question. What's the in studio? When you, when you made, we know you've been grinding doing comedy and all the shit, movies and everything. But when you made Smile, bitch, how'd your life change after that bitch hit? It didn't change. It changed to y'all. My life was the song <laughs> came from my li me, me living my best life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. It's just y'all start paying attention. Ain't shit changed. I had a plane before the goddamn song. Stay woke. <laughs> I don't think that was the answer. Well, we're over it, right? <laughs> I, mean, I, I think the answer went totally left on <laughs> What did he ask? I don't think he know. <laughs> now he said that my life changed. And I ain't saying oh, yeah, it to sound yeah, arrogant. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, but I'm saying, it did, like people think a song or something gonna blow you up. It's just like, it, went, it didn't, it's right. just. Open people's eyes and ears. It didn't change as far as for me. It changed for y'all, how y'all saw me. So that's a testament of how y'all be looking at people. That's why y'all shouldn't look at people that's coming up like that. 
don't but the, but the show no money way. did change then. No, it didn't. It did? No. I got Number one to watch this shit. Oh, fuck oh. up. Yeah, see? <laughs> hey, that's the type of shit I be talking about. God damn. That's the type of shit. Hey, I told you when we were doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a snitch ass nigga, bro. When the show money went up, God damn. You know I ain't mean shit like that. Probably man. watch. This shit is going <laughs> great. Told you. He didn't even get to do it by the I had, I had spit that goddamn <laughs> question <laughs> so smooth. <laughs> and here this nigga really I back in. <laughs> I stay woke. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas. They gonna edit that shit out, dude. No, they ain't. <laughs> you know, you know got that well, we ain't edited nothing. This is all raw, uncut. This is the vibe, oh, man. man. This yeah. is this is what Lil Duval requested, man. He said, don't edit shit that people need to see. <laughs> that raw shit. This is, this is what you call a one cut. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't asking shit though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Oprah fuck with it, didn't she? Yeah, she fuck with it. Yeah. And she, she fuck with it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Everybody fuck shit. with it. Yeah. It's bigger than me. Well, everybody did fuck with yeah. it. Was, it was, and still does. But God damn. Oprah. That's crazy. What that Oprah, for your, Oprah you know, fuck man. with your song and then that she go back through her DMs and you done sent her some bullshit. <laughs> 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 you forgot all about when oh, you man. got drunk one night. Nah, see, that's why I went. I waited. When I, when I went number one, that's when I DMed you. <laughs> What'd you say? When I went number one, I said, what's happening? <laughs> I, oh, I thought you, I thought you DM'd the smile, bitch. No, nah, I, like, I DM'd like, oh, and said, what's happening? Man, I'm popping now, bitch. What's happening? <laughs> Soon as Oprah hit him, sipped on that message, me pop up. <laughs> she had never opened it before? Yeah, never. You done forgot about it. You didn't even know you mm -hmm. said it. It said that in 2019. <laughs> forgot mm -hmm. all about it. But for real though, she showed it was more dope seeing just seeing just regular people enjoy and just watching yeah. how it changed people's lives more than just celebrities. Like I I I got I cried watching regular people seeing how it changed people's lives more than I did watching a celebrity enjoy it. Believe it or not. Yeah. Man, that's one of them ones. Like man. the kids and shit. Yeah. Like or like people that had cancer or people come up to me mm. and tell me like they was they was about to kill themselves and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what hit me more than that's real. You can make That's a nigga real, with man. no teeth smile, you doing some mm. shit. I'm talking about smile, smile. They been hiding that shit for the longest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, man, living my best life. Ain't that's no one, of, that's one of them ones that's going to do Christmas just... here, you going back to Duval? What you I doing? ain't figured it out yet, because like I'm a last minute nigga. When Christmas? On the 20th. On Christmas Day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Black people, the only niggas do that shit too, man. You know, Christmas just crept up on me this year. Shit. What the, what's the day? How much time it's I got left? It's, it's, yeah, it's on. It's on. Well, for the show for our team today. Yeah. Oh, it's today on show. Yeah. All right, but um, yeah, man. <laughs> shit, I'm here for Christmas. Does it look like it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a Christmas <laughs> special. <laughs> You don't ask me what I'm doing for Christmas. I'm here. <laughs> Y'all got me in here from my, away from my family. <laughs> Fuck with you niggas. Do you miss them? They all cool. <laughs> I mean, shit, bro. I mean, we got a bow. We got who a bow. Who slapped that on there? I don't know. Like, who thought this would like offset and make it look Christmassy? We need to make it look up. Christmassy. Ryan Tom. always fuck up. And then the shit ain't even sticking. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, I guess nothing's good no enough for you, man. No, this, it ain't that, man. This is how old we are. This is how much Christmas means to grown folks. Yeah. Yeah. Put a bow on that bitch. Mm -hmm. Put a bow on that motherfucker and some reefs. <laughs> Empty presents. <laughs> This is the hood, man. I'm horse oh, shit. Man. Yeah, you you was singing your yeah, ass so. off. Yeah, oh uh, no, I'm horse shit, like from doing goddamn shows, man. But like, you do both, so you sing it and you do comedy. Yeah, so like how I just you... came from Seattle, well, Tacoma. Shout out to the Washington, the whole state. Nigga was yeah. on stage with a pound of weed. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was smoking good out there, man. I, I I had to do six shows, sing and goddamn tell jokes. Yeah, so man. I'm kind of horse, but shit. It was lit, though, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it it's worth a great time. It's the cost man, it was, of doing business. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It comes with it, but hey, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hey, man. Chris. Well, shit, we ain't gonna hold you. We know how that shit is. Hey, we appreciate you coming through, setting the vibe and shit, you know? Could've yeah. left your partner, but I get it. Left who? Your homeboy. 
Shit, I didn't bring him. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. He was just up He there. was here. Yeah. He told me he modeled for y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> ain't now. We see. <laughs> I ain't never seen me in a rich broke sweatsuit, though. Oh, oh, give him time. I'm give him time. That's all I'm saying. All I'm going to tell you is he ain't going to buy one. That's, 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 that's all I'm saying. I bet you that. This Lowe's old shit. Dude. He lying, bro. That's, that's no new exclusive shit. shit. But but everybody I'm saying, he wore it. No, I didn't. That ain't his side. That's my side. Because everybody knows. It ain't my size. I don't even have no one. <laughs> if I bought it, I would have got my he size. He asked for that size. I heard him. Mm. They brought oh, you got a size down? He asked for it like that. You got one size down? Oh, wearing like these young boys be wearing. Yeah, he, he did that two times. Mm. And then he was talking down. shit to the girl. I don't want that shit hanging all off me. <laughs> <laughs> wearing them big ass clothes. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. What time it is? He think he on. Well, look, man, we're going to wrap this up. Yeah, 85, stay tuned. We got some more shit coming. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Lil Duval. Yo, what's good? This is Chico B. Is your ex still using your Netflix? Well, that's what my partner and them found out after he downloaded Truebill, which finds and cancels subscriptions with just one tap. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you do not need, want, or simply forget about. Because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel, Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel unwanted subscriptions in one tap. Truebill empowers you to save more, spend less, see everything, and take back control of your financial life. Stay on top of your spending with Truebill. Get an effortless breakdown of your finances to see where your money is going and how to improve. Truebill has over 2 million users and helps save them over $100 million. Truebill will notify you of important events that need your attention, so if you're ever caught off guard, you won't be again. Go right now, truebill.com backslash 85south. It can save you thousands a year. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at truebill.com backslash 85 South. That's truebill.com backslash 85 South. It's Christmas week and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, has a gift that'll certainly put you in the holiday spirit. New customers can bet just $5 on any NBA team and win 150 in free bets if they're victorious. It's a great way to put some extra jingle in your pocket. If Sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, your Christmas can still be merry. Everyone can play for huge cash prizes with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Basketball Contest. DraftKings is giving all new customers a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now, use promo code 85SOUTH, bet just $5 on any NBA team, and win $150 in free bets if they're victorious. That's promo code 85 South this Christmas week at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indiana, or Pennsylvania only. New customers only, minimum $5 deposit and $1 wage required. One per customer, restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. She don't kill me this time She tired of me telling her lies She don't leave me hospitalized I do not fuck with your life I will not let you fuck up my life It don't matter if you're wrong or you're right I'm just trying to send you away You can have all of this shit Give me my freedom back, bitch I feel incarcerated I did not sign up for this I'm taking care of your kids All of them bad as shit I can't I gotta die, 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 I gotta
Trying to send your ass. You can't have all of this shit. Give me my freedom back, bitch. I feel incarcerated. I did not sign up for this. I'm taking care of your kids. All of them bad as shit. I cannot handle it. Hey, I'ma make her catch a body. If she catch me with somebody. Hey, yeah. enjoyed it. Shout out to Carlo, Chico, DC, Clayton, Nav Green, I don't know what he do, but he's here. And all the staff, and most importantly, the band. Y'all give it up for the band, give it up for the band. 